Now I just tried to make this vlog like um, a couple times and it stopped recording in the middle. I thought maybe my phone's like too full or something. So I deleted about a lot of videos um, that I've had saved. I don't know why I had them saved because I already uploaded them. So I deleted about 20 videos and I thought, um, third time's the charm, so I'll start on it again. Okay. How did I start? I have been into words for a long time. Um, for pe some people, you know, that um, I've been kind of prided myself on wordsmithing since uh, since college. Right after I graduated, I was, was really annoying. Um, I would use vocabulary that people didn't understand just to, I guess, for the sake of sounding smart. And I would correct people's vo vocabulary. I'd correct their grammar. I just was not a very just annoying, which is probably why I don't have a lot of close friends because I tend to pick things like that, but that's lessened quite a bit. I don't do that. I take notice of words. I like big words, but I don't use a lot of big vocabulary because I know that can be really annoying. Um, or even obscure words, not necessarily big. But you know, you know words in general. Some words, they just have a mood about them. You know, some words just make you mad. Just want to be mad. You want to fight. Just, uh, just because you hear that word, it sets you on on edge. Uh, some words are are more lovely. They're they're mellow. They're, they're floaty words. You know, they just. Mm. But but but, okay. I have a story about a word. Um, is it because it's a it's a dirty word? It's not a really dirty word, but it, it evokes that feeling of dirtiness. And the story is uh, today, um, this afternoon. Um, I was in the car with my daughter, almost twelve-year-old daughter. Uh, she was in the back seat, and we had stopped, and my wife went into a convenience store and. I was just laughing. I, I looked at Becca and I said, "You know, Becca, the word dangle is dirty." It's like, Dad, what are you talking about? It's not a dirty word. And I was like, "Think about it. Every time you hear the word dangle, it's talking about dirty, either poop or penises." She just laughed and laughed and laughed. And I was like laughing and I was thinking. I even said this to her. I was like, I'm talking to my daughter about penises. <laughs> but she was like, um, what about the, when dogs get really old, do their dangly penises touch the ground? And I was like, I can't believe I'm talking to this about her. And, and then when my wife came out and saw that we were laughing, she asked, why, why are you uh, laughing so hard? You know, what's, what's up? When I told her about the word dangle being dirty. It's it's about poop and penises, and she goes, "What about when you're in in PE and you hang from the monkey bars? You know, with your arms up. Isn't that called a dangle? It's like, yeah, you're dangling, but it's not funny. So, uh, I, I guess the word dangle isn't as funny as as I thought it was, but." You know, I think from now on, just hearing that word will make me laugh because I'm thinking about poop penises. I mean, I just, I just think it's, I think it's funny.